Hello and welcome to Grant24678. I've just come back from Comic Con and there are some rather interesting stories about Amy Pond. Magic moments when two hearts are killed. Magic moments, memories we've been sharing. And he finds out that if he strokes his penis too much, it'll explode. So, Comic Con. The first thing that annoyed me about Comic Con was the fact that Amy Pond was there. And the first thing I did with my new program was rip out her face, which I thought was extremely interesting. And then, right, we saw a celebrity before we'd even got in. We, I saw Time Lord from Hell. And I was like, oh my god, YouTube celebrities! And, um, I was very excited to see Time Off from Hell. Bloody excited. I was like, oh yes, it's them! I looked at this person and he was dressed as Sylvester McCoy and I was like, hey, that person looks like, um, Sebastian Bird. And then I went, that is Sebastian Bird! And I was like, wow! And I was really excited and I was jumping around, woo, because uh, it was the first celebrity we'd seen. We queued for about, ooh, I don't know, five minutes? Not, not even that at all. Um, and we got in, and Comic Con is massive. There's so many things to go around. But I could, I could draw a map of Comic Con now. We've walked around it so many times. Amy Pond, what a bitch. She is the most fucking vain person I have ever met. It's all about herself. Do you know what? She wants you to pay £25 to talk to her, the little cow. She thinks she's the queen. We'll talk about that in a minute because there's a moment in Comic Con today that made me and Toby extremely angry. So the first person we saw, the first celebrity we saw was Sylvester McCoy. We got to see him practically instantly. And um, I was very excited to see Sylvester McCoy, although Sylvester McCoy wasn't my favourite. I was, I was always thinking with, with Sylvester McCoy, he doesn't want us to be here, we're not in costume. That was the other thing. He always felt inconspicuous because there were, uh, everyone was dressed in costumes. Literally, literally everyone was in costume. Sylvester McCoy, Sylvester McCoy was the best one. That everyone was dressed as Sylvester McCoy. Quite a lot of people were dressed as Matt Smith, um, and various other things. Someone was actually dressed as an angel. We had someone dressed as. We had about five people dressed as unit soldiers. We had about five people dressed as Ace. So we had quite a, a very, very, quite a large quantity of people had dressed up, and I was a bit. Scared because everyone and um, I think Sylvester McCoy was not one of my favorite. I, I, I'm a bit not really liking Sylvester McCoy's attitude to this because I only sp spoke to Sylvester McCoy for literally about two two minutes, not even that, about a minute because I just said, Hi, hello, I loved you in Doctor Who. And you can suddenly see how Joe feels when you meet your celebrities, you're like, Ah, what do I say to them? And I sort of planned out what I was going to say to them, and I, you know, got through it. And I basically said to Sylvester McCoy, oh, it was very nice to meet you. And I shook his hand. Shook the guy's hand. I shook Sylvester McCoy's hand. Bloody hot in Comic Con. Literally got sweating like a pig. So here's my autograph from uh, Sylvester McCoy, which um, is quite nice. I like the picture, which is why I chose it. And after um, Sylvester McCoy, the next person along is... Ace, but unfortunately we couldn't get Ace because she was preoccupied, which meant really I didn't want to pay for an autograph, so I didn't really want to go with her. So the next person we went to was Nissa, which I didn't want an autograph from because I thought she looked really old, but uh, she didn't actually. She looked really quite pretty today. Oh, very pretty, very attractive woman. I seem to have lost half my autographs. Where have all gone missing? Um, so yeah, I, I didn't go to her. <laughs> and then we met Louise Jameson. <laughs> Literally, I was burning up. My whole face was boiling red. And I was, I must be blushing. I was probably blushing. Because she's so attractive. Louise Jameson is so attractive. And you're looking at this fine body. And, you know, you're looking at her and you're like, you're like really trying to concentrate hard. But you can't think. And I didn't actually plan what I was going to say to Louise Jameson. So it always went up like a big shit, basically. It was awful talking to her. Uh, she was very polite, very nice woman, but um, I had just, it was so embarrassing talking to her. I said to her in a very mumbled sort of way, uh, Hi Louise, yeah, um, uh, 
Uh, I like, I like, well, uh, I was going to say I liked her the bit when the bit when she had that knife and she threw it at a Vok robot. But then I suddenly thought of a better scene, which I liked, and I said, oh, I really liked you in that scene when you threw a knife at this Sontaran. And she said, yes, that was a really good scene. Is that one of your favourite scenes? And I said, yes, it was. And um, then she said she almost killed a cameraman doing that shot, so that was quite nice. And here's my autograph from Louise Jameson. I picked this photo because there weren't many good ones, but there's... My second autograph. Then I went for a rather interesting one. John Leeson, who plays the voice of K9, practically forced me into um, getting an autograph from him because he was like, "What can I do for you?" And I said, "Well, I don't know." Um, so I got, um, and it's actually John Leeson's autograph. It's actually one of my favourites. Um, it is one of my absolute favourites because it's such a beautiful picture. Here's John Leeson's uh, autograph, and I love this one because it's got Luke in it. And it's really sad that Luke's gone, so it's nice. This is a nice photo. You can't really see it on the camera, but yeah, there we go. It's a nice sort of position to put it in. Lovely, and I like that one. It's, my, it's one of my favourites. Then we went to go and see... Well, let's have a look. We, uh, who do we see next? Well, then we sort of had a break, and we had lunch, and I, I talked to Time Lord from Hell in a rather embarrassing situation. I said to him, Oh, you're Time Lord from Hell, aren't you? And I said this to Sebastian, and he said... Uh, and he was pointing to Tony. Um, and uh, so, you know, I, and I was sort of like, hi, bye. And it was like a really quick conversation. I was just was so excited to see them that I was just like, oh, yeah. I mean, I would have been excited to meet any YouTube celebrity. <laughs> I was really hoping Batman March would, take, would come because I, I don't know how far he lives away, but Batman March would have been, a, I, I, that would have made my day if he was there. I would have walked up to him, shook his hand and said, hello. You're awesome. Do you remember me? I'm Grant McCluskey. I'm on your Facebook. I'm on your YouTube. Always typing away. Because um, Batman March is obviously a very interesting person. And I thought he was there for a moment because I saw this picture. And, you know, if, you, if you're if a friend of him on Facebook, he does these little prints. And there was a person who did the, practically the same print as him. And I thought, oh, that, that, that may be him. So after that, I went to go and see Sarah Sutton. I didn't get an autograph of her because I only wanted to have, say a quick hello. So I said hello to her and I said, um, I've actually been listening to you on the audio plays and one of my favourite audios with you in is Spare Parts. She agreed with me on that and she said, um, if I was to recommend a story, that would be the one to recommend. So I liked my chat with Sarah Sutton. And then we went shopping and uh, we went round all the stalls. And I got this, which I hadn't unwrapped yet. It's a Doctor Who clock with all the Doctors around it. We start off with William Hartnell, Patrick Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Peter Davidson, Colin Baker, Spencer McCoy, Paul McGann, Chris Ferguson, David Tennant, Matt Smith, and the excellent bit at the end, which I love. They've got Peter Cushion there. Then I bought an exact copy of that um, with with a big... Um, oh, careful, 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 careful. I bought oof, this, which is, is all the Doctors again, with plaque! It's, they're different pictures, so that's why I like it. Um, but there are points we've got to get across quickly, because we are running out of time. So I'll just show you the final things we got. I got this, which is a picture of me and Sylvester McCoy. Um, Sylvester McCoy, by this point, was more... I was liking him a bit more, because he was a bit more chirpy. Um, there's the one with John Leeson. We finally got Ace's autograph. It took a, a very long time to get Ace's autograph. We kept going there, and she wasn't there. Uh, this is Ace's autograph. She was very... I loved her. She was very polite. Awfully polite. And um, Toby wanted a picture with her, and she'd already gone on to the next person. And I said, um, Sophie, do you mind if we... Uh, Toby, you know. And she allowed us to do that, and she was like, yeah. If I had more time with, 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 with Sophie, I would have said to her, you know, I love you in Doctor Who, but I also love you in um, other TV. You are the best. You are a dedicated children's presenter as well, I loved you. In all those TV shows as a kid, I used to watch Sophie doing her ABCs and things like that. Then, I had three pounds left, so I bought this. A picture of Daniel Radcliffe, which I don't think is the right... Is it Daniel Radcliffe? Daniel? I can't remember, I'm really tired, I don't know. It's not, it's not, Daniel Radcliffe? Yeah, I think it is Daniel Radcliffe. Um, who plays Harry Potter, which is nice. There were there were two people I really wanted to see, but I didn't have the balls to go and see them. And they were Molly from Basil Brush, who also plays someone in Harry Potter, and Harry Mervyn, who plays, I think is, is his name, who plays Dudley. Love to have met him. I didn't have the balls to, of course. Um, 
because by this point, it was so rude of us to go up to people and say, oh, can we have a picture? That was so rude. We did that to Camille, who plays Jackie, and she was so pissed. She was so annoyed. I said to her, hey, Jackie, can we have a picture? And when I said, hello, Camille, can we have a picture? And she's like, yeah, sure. But we know deep down she was pissed off that we, we only wanted a photograph of her, which we didn't really want, but we... Um, now, I've, I'm, I've wanted to talk about this for a long time now. Richard Franklin, I felt so sorry for him because we kept walking past his kiosk and he looked so sad because he was like, no one was coming to his stall. I just thought, oh my God, that's so sad. Like, he looks, he really looks so down and depressed. Um, and I said to Toby at the end, should we go and cheer up Richard Franklin? Should we go and have a, should we have a good word with Richard Franklin? And I was gonna, I was actually gonna go over to him and say, Oh, Richard Franklin, hello! You're my biggest fan! I saved you, and I'm your biggest fan! I saved you to last because you're the best! Of course, that's a big lie, but, you know. Um, I, I mean, I wanted to cheer up Richard Franklin. He looks so down. There's one point where he just looked at us, like, with these puppy dog eyes and stuff like Come over, please. I'm so... And he looks so sad. And I, I really wanted to do something about that. Now, let's talk about Amy Pond and her absolute bitchery. When I find the... Uh, where's, where's the... Uh, where's the, uh, the flyer for today? The pamphlet. Um, oh, well. You pay... She is such a bitch. She comes right... Like, me and Toby are walking around. And then we see these, the, the, this security guard bumps into us and practically pushes us out the way. And we look up and see why he's doing this, and Amy Pond is there! And she's, she's surrounded by a whole team of bodyguards! Crazy! And she's walking like this, and it looks like she's a fucking queen! She's acting like she's going like this, I'm the best, I am the main attraction of the show! The little bitch! She's, she's high on her heels, she's saying, Oh yes, if you want to talk to me, it's fifteen pounds. If you know, if you want to photograph with me, it's twenty-five pounds. She's done two, two bloody photo shoots. Two, crazy bitch. Um, I hated her. She was, she was, she was being. Oh my god, I'm the best part of the convention, and she was, she was acting as if she was the best part of the convention. Sorry, love, you're not. You're not the biggest part of the convention. The biggest part of the convention is Sylvester McCoy, as he is the Doctor. And you, my dear, are not. And I was bad-mouthing her all day. I said, oh my god, that stupid bitchy cow, Amy Pond. I really want to say more about this. I can't find the words because I'm really tired, but I hate that bitch. She was acting, literally, this is all I can say, if I was going to say anything, all I can say about her is that she was acting like the Queen. As if she was better than everybody else. And when she'd done those photo shops, photo shoots, she was acting, Ooh, I'm pretty as a picture. Ooh, look at my tits. All the old men were looking after her. Oh, yes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Doctor Who was one, well, I, mean, I love that bit, but, you know, other people, I mean, um, I didn't see anyone from Harry Potter. Um, and I don't like Star Wars, but I loved that everyone was dressed up, and I really liked that. And I, one of the highlights of my day was meeting um, Tamla from Hell. Um, well, it wasn't well, it wasn't really a highlight. I mean, I enjoyed that part of the day, but um, I love this picture. I really like this picture of me and Sylvester McCoy. I really do. Um, obviously, this is camera recorded, so you can't really see them. But I'll upload them all to Facebook. Um, I will upload the autographs to Facebook. They're going on my wall, but you'll see them in other videos later on. So I think that's all I've got to say about Comic Con. Um, if you just wait a minute, I've got I've recorded all the stuff I need to talk about on my phone, so I'll just listen to that back. Oh yes, um, we finished Comic Con about, oh, I don't know, two o'clock, and we were waiting for these photos to come through, and it took absolutely ages. And so we were just walking around Comic Con for hours, going around in a circle, seeing Nissa, seeing the Doctor, seeing Ace all over again. All of, we saw Master in about 500 times. God. Here are my pictures from Comic Con, with pictures including me with Nissa, me with uh, other members of the cast. So here we go.